testing now my uh, Facebook Live. This is the first time I've tried Facebook Live, so pagpasensyahan uh, yun na. Medyo, medyo mahina rin kasi yung signal ng uh, internet ko. Kaya uh, medyo nagkaroon ako ng delay ngayon. Uh, supposedly, it start ng 8 o'clock. Uh, but it, uh, it's already 8.07. And uh, again, good evening. Ah, bakit kanya ng camp? Uh, ano lang kasi, cellphone, cellphone camera lang yung gamit ko ngayon. So, dahil wala pang, uh, I don't have any fancy studio equipment. This is uh, more of a trial lang. Uh, so, hopefully in the next uh, week, we'll have a, a much better signal and much better camera, hopefully. Uh, so this is a pre-pilot episode of uh, Space Speak. So this is a uh, weekly FB live broadcast uh, na talking about anything uh, about space and any stuff uh, that concerns about space and uh, space development here in the Philippines. Um, why did I start or why did I uh, attempt to do this kind of uh, endeavor because as you as most of you would know or would see from my feed and my uh, postings uh, the Philippines right now is uh, is ramping up our, our capabilities for space development in fact we're very uh, we're just waiting for the formality in terms of developing uh, or creating our own uh, national space development agency and of course the public needs to know a lot about this and uh, they need to understand what benefits or what value space can have to our society because that's one of the most common questions that we get uh, why you know, given that the Philippines is a developing country why do we need to have our own space program or space agency or why can't why can't we have our uh, why can't we allocate it for other uh, endeavors so this is more of like uh, in demystifying space on why we need space and I try to keep it na medyo hindi formal uh, para hindi naman stiff yung ano or hindi naman uh, hindi naman boring hopefully hindi boring sa inyo and uh, so the reason why I do I did it also in FB is or FB live is uh, so that I can answer questions also or you know, if you have topics that you want to discuss about space just post it and we'll try to address it in probably future issues kung hindi kung hindi kaya okay so this is a uh, well the, the title of this series is uh, Space Speak and uh, I'll try to make it as free as regular as possible every Thursday I, I as much as I want to make it more often than that I think my schedule right now uh, prevents me from doing it uh, but I, I'll try to do more FB live uh, short clips or short videos about that okay uh, just looking at the Again, uh, this is more of a, uh, as of today, uh, I was thinking uh, now I would start the topic, na, which was uh, the first topic that was in line is for the uh, House Bill 3637. Ano ba talaga yung laman House Bill 3637? And at the same time, Senate Bill 1211 or the Philippine Space Act of 2016. So these are the first two pieces of legislation that is fi currently filed in Congress and in Senate right now that pushes for the national space development and utilization policy and also for the creation of a Philippine space agency. Pero siguro, uh, I'll try to I'll push that for next week na lang siguro. So, uh, again, if you have topics that you want to be discussed or questions that you want to be discussed either, uh, short questions, I can answer them now. Or to more, or uh, if you have topics that you want to learn more, let's say how do we apply space for, for agriculture, for environment, uh, we'll, we will post that for a much later broadcast. Uh, may so there there are some questions now. Uh, it's in Nemi, hi Nemi, long time no see. Uh, do we have our own satellite? Na yes, we we do actually have our own satellite. 
we have uh, Diwata 1 microsatellite, which is a small uh, 50 kilogram satellite that is orbiting in low Earth orbit or around 400 kilometers above sea level. So this satellite was launched last April uh, 2016. And I think this is uh, currently one of the pride of the Philippines because it's uh, the first satellite that was built by Philippine scientists and engineers. So this was a collaboration between uh, Tohoku, uh, University of the Philippines with Tohoku and Hokkaido University in Japan and also I'm sorry and also with, uh, with funding from coming from the Department of Science and Technology so this was our our first effort in terms of building our own satellite although in in the past we we've had our own satellites uh, we had uh, Aquila 2 which is which was launched in 1997 so it's almost 20 years now uh, so it's although it was originally designed for 15 years and uh, it's currently oh however in 2010 it's no longer owned by the Philippines we sold it to Asia broadcast satellite although we maintain we still maintain the ground stations here in uh, Supi okay okay uh, let's see Hi, Tita Ruby. Yes, kahit nga dito, for some reason, mabagal din ang network. Uh, siguro that's part of Murphy's Law. At, at the moment na uh, I was trying to start the broadcast live, uh, the FB live, biglang bumagal yung internet for, for, some, for some strange reason. So hopefully, siguro it's a peak time also for people to watch uh, or to use the internet ngayon kasi... I know na kahit ako eh ganitong oras lang din ako gumagamit mostly ng internet. Okay? So uh yes, so uh I think this is uh my my own way in or my own contribution in social media to uh help educate, help educate the general public on terms in terms of uh, space space technology, space uh, development, like space applications and how we can uh, uh, how we can benefit from it in the in the next uh, hopefully in the future next 5 10 15 years okay see Gilbert hi Gilbert hi Wong uh mga black mace mga techno bubbles okay uh okay uh comment from John Cedric Jimenez. Uh, yes, it was launched last year, so uh, it was a very big uh, event, although there were some difficulties. Uh, it was very challenging, in fact, for, the, for our scientists and engineers because uh, they were given only, I think, one year to make the Diwata 1 satellite. And right now, they're, uh, as far as I know, is that they're working also on Diwata 2, which is scheduled for launch in uh, early next year, in 2018, whether it's first half, uh, first half of 2018 uh, but it's still under development right now and so far hindi pa public yung uh, what payload or what capabilities the Diwata 2 will have so I think we'll just wait for formal announcement coming from either the Diwata team or uh, from Secretary de la Peña himself okay. so Yonin Albert Leung that's the update on Diwata 2 uh, Manny Tenorio Yes, Mang Mani, kailangan ko po ng PLDT fiber. Pwede po ba kapakabitan niyo ako dito ng PLDT fiber sa bahay namin? Uh, nasa bahay lang kasi ako ngayon. And uh, just had dinner. So, I had to rush so that I can meet the 8 o'clock deadline. Okay. okay, let's see. Okay. So, yeah, uh, siguro I'll, I'll proceed now with the, uh, uh, instead of postponing it next week, uh, I'll try to proceed now with the, uh, uh, I think what this this was the very first topic that I, I thought of uh, discussing. This is the House Bill 3637 or the app, uh, Philippine Space Act of 2016. So this was the very first piece of legislation in the current uh, administration that uh, pushes for the and so it's an app establishing the Philippine Space Development 
and utilization policy and creating the Philippine Space Agency. So this was submitted to Congress or to the House of Representatives last September 15, 2016, and it was authored by uh, Congressman uh, Erico Aristotel Ayumentado of Bohol and uh, Congressman Seth Frederick Halosos of Zamboanga. So they, uh, Congressman Ayumentado is actually the House Committee Chair for uh, Science and Technology. Okay, so this the app itself. Uh, when you go to uh, the the app is uh, easily downloadable from the website of the Philippine Congress and uh, from the House of Representatives rather. So it it's actually a, a work that was uh, a summary of the work that the DOST has done for the past I think for the past three four years. Uh, there has been a lot of work, although it was not very much public. And basically, it, it's the app is divided, of course, into sections. And basically, it outlines uh, why the Philippines need a space program and why do we need to create, create a Philippine Space Agency. Okay. So it, it's the policy itself is anchored on what we call the six key development areas of the Philippine space policy. So this is uh, a result or an outcome of the various uh, consultations coming from different sectors, from academe, from industry, from government, and also from uh, the defense sector, okay? and also the regional consultation. So uh, we, the policy identified six key development areas, which is or which are national development and security, uh, hazard management and climate studies, space research and development, space industry capacity building, space education and awareness, and uh, finally, international cooperation. Okay, so, so if you notice, there's a certain sequence in the out, uh, in the spot in the in the policy in the identification of the six key development areas and uh it was by design i think uh we we made sure that the first uh, item is national development and security or national security and development because we want to ensure that the space program is beneficial or it can very much contribute to uh, development of the philippine society and nation building so we don't want it to become a uh, white elephant wherein we build something and it's not going to be used we, we, we've had a lot of those kinds of projects in the past in in the philippines so we want to avoid that because we know that Fili uh, space technology or space science and technology is actually something that can greatly benefit the country as a whole so we focus on space applications that can preserve and enhance the country's national security and promote development that is beneficial to all Filipinos. So we make sure that any program or any project that will be undertaken by the by the space agency is going to be beneficial to the country. And at the same time, we also want it to be uh, to address some one of uh, most of the problems that we have in the country but the most one of the most pressing one is uh, disaster management we know that we're a smorgasbord of disaster here in the philippines so we want and using space technology is uh, can prove it, it, ha it has a lot of benefit we have by the use of satellites we can actually image or we can actually see what is going on on the surface of the earth and then we have, uh, of course, research. We need research and development. Uh, we want to spur scientific growth. We want to enhance the capabilities of our scientists and engineers. Of course, this needs a very strong support coming from the, the government. Uh, so that's why it's in, uh, identified as one of the key development areas. We also want to promote the development of a local industry or a local space industry here in the country. In fact, we, we have what we call, uh, well, sometimes it's called the aerospace industry here in the Philippines. But in reality, it's more of an aviation industry. And uh, it's already here. We're one, uh, one of the suppliers. We have a lot of companies here which, which we call Tier 1 or Tier 2 suppliers. They, they, they supply components to... Boeing to Lockheed Martin and uh, yun yung mga tier one suppliers natin. Okay, so uh, they're already here, and we have a very strong uh, semiconductor industry in the country. So it makes sense that we can actually we we have we have the the seeds of having our own 
space industry. Ah, okay, privacy setting. Uh, sorry, I try. I'll try to change the privacy setting na lang, Kevin. Probably later. Because I, sorry, I'm. Since this is my first time in LB Live, I'll I'll change it. Siguro in the video na lang. Uh, na ma upload later. Uh, uh, so thank 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 you for that. Uh, I didn't know na naka share lang pala siya to friends tung live with you. Although I, I, okay, never mind. Ne next, I'll, I'll 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 do that next time. Uh, going to the fourth uh, key development area. Oh, maybe I can do it here in my laptop. Okay. If I can do ah okay there you go since uh, the video is uh, the FB live itself is in the laptop uh, is in the cell phone pero I, I also open my FB here sa laptop so I think now it's in public setting so uh, hopefully uh, more people can watch this okay okay so going back to the space uh, the key development area so we have the Space education and awareness. I think this is one of the most important tools of the space uh, of the space or items in this key development areas or the KDAs, because we it's human. We're talking here about human resources. Okay? We we can put in all the money that we have in developing a space program, in having our own satellite, having our own. Uh, facilities for research for launch facilities and so on but without the human resources uh, without the people uh, who's going to man the space agency who's going to man uh, the industry uh, it's going to be uh, it's in, in physics we call it the Dirac Delta big lang sudden rise and then sudden uh, drop then okay so it's not going to be sustainable so that's why it's important that we focus on uh, education not just in tertiary or in postgraduate education but also in primary and secondary level because we, we leverage on the fact that students or kids in general have interest in space kahit nang bata pa i think every one of us had that had that dream to become an astronaut or we were fascinated by stars okay uh so we we need to train we need to have a sustainable pool i think that the key term here is sustainable we, we, we know that we were facing challenges when it comes to uh, brain drain but at the same time uh if we have a good we have good institutions that can provide the training for our scientists for our engineers then that can be addressed or that can be uh that can be solved in a way and we also need to educate the public on the uh, increased public awareness on the value and benefit of having a national space program. So th this is my small contribution to educating the public to an FB line, which hopefully more more people will uh, get to see. Okay? Masaya na ako, meron ng, uh, more than uh, 20 viewers. Okay? So I'm happy with that okay? as, as of now. Okay? Uh, and then finally, going to the to the last KDA is uh, international cooperation. So, in international cooperation, of course, the the Philippine state is not an uh, is not alone. We we have to work within the global space community, and we can do this through international partnerships, collaborations, and hopefully in the future we can become a key player in the ASEAN and also in the global space community. Okay, so. The Section 6 of the bill uh, states uh, creation of the Philippine Space Agency. Section 7 states the mandate, which says that the FILSA, FILSA is the temp tentative uh, abbreviation or tentative acronym of uh, the Space Agency. The FILSA shall be the primary policy, planning, coordinating, implementing, and administrative entity of the executive branch of the government that will plan, develop, and promote the National Space Program in line with the Philippine Space Policy. So essentially, this is the one that's going to implement the whole, all the six key development areas and ensure that it, uh, it, the, the policy is being followed. So uh, it's a big task, uh, but I think it's a, it's a natural task or it's a, 
uh, reality na most space agencies have that function or most national space agencies have that function. Section 8 focuses on the powers and functions. Uh, as I said, it's more for policy and planning coordination, improve public access and resource sharing, research and development, education and capacity building, uh, industry development, international cooperation. So again, it's, it's anchored on the six key development areas of the policy. Okay, uh, section 9 is the composition of the Philippine Space Agency. So the design by it says here that it shall be an attached agency of the office of the president because of the multi uh, sectoral role of a space program or space technology or it has cross cutting applications not just in science and technology but also in environment in agriculture in transportation or even in in defense okay uh, space technology is inherently a dual uh, use technology it can be used for civilian purposes and even for military applications so in order given that uh, it was uh, stated that it should be uh, under the direction of the office of the president in a similar manner compared to nasa nasa is directly under white house but of course it coordinates or it works with other government agencies uh, in other countries well, there are different models of handling a space agency on how, where to place it. Some of it is under the Ministry of Science and Technology. Uh, some of it is, uh, or some of them are reporting under various ministries. And in some cases, I think in the in the case of India, they even have their own Department of Space. Okay, so I, but I don't think we can we can have that here in the Philippines. Okay, so so it's going to be under or at least as of now, based on the bill itself, it's going to be under the office of the president. It's going to be headed by the director general. Okay, so the director general shall be uh, the head of the space agency itself. So this is equivalent to the administrator or the uh, for NASA. Okay, but there are also going to be deputy directors to support or assist the director general. The director general is going to be a cabinet rank. If I let me check. Yes, this is equivalent to a cabinet secretary. So it's like an equivalent department or same level as a cabinet secretary. Okay. Uh, of course, uh, their section 12 identifies the qualifications so that uh, any person can become a director general as long as uh, he or she is a resident of the Philippines and yes. Uh, Good moral character, integrity, uh, and it has advanced degrees in space science, astronomy, physics, engineering, with at least five years of expertise or competence in the field. Okay. So we want to make sure that the person that ha that is going to handle the space agency is uh, competent enough to work on it or to handle it. Okay. Uh, the rest are some just details on the separation and retirement of service, structure, staffing pattern. Ah, yes, this section 16, the Magna Carta. So employees of the uh, Philippine Space Agency is uh, uh, shall be covered by Republic Act uh, 8439. Oh, sorry. I know this is a typo. Eh? The bill says it's 3439, but I know it's a... Uh, if I remember correctly, it's 8439, which is known as the Magna Carta for scientists, engineers, and researchers, mm -hmm. and other science and technology personnel in the government. So that means anyone who's going to work in the space agency shall have a much, I, I think, a certain percentage, maximum 30%, if I remember correctly, maximum 30% higher uh, salary, or you know, it's not a higher salary, but more. 30% additional compensation by virtue of the Magna Carta. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, section 17, annual report. Section 18, the funds. Ah, yes. The funds of the Philippine Space Agency uh, shall be consist, shall consist of uh, the GAA or the General Appropriations, uh, which is an annual, I think, annual budgeting. And uh, of course, it can generate income, fees, royalties from other sources. Uh, Section 19 uh, states the Philippine Space Development Fund. So here, uh, 
the Philippine State Space Development Fund. Parang this is a sort of like a seed money or seed capital for the creation of the or for the development of uh, the space agency. And based on this, uh, an initial amount of ten billion is uh, going to be taken from the national government, uh, coming from various sources, uh, mainly from PAGCOR. Yung a state sa bill is uh, from PAGCOR and BCDA. So this is going to be the seed capital for uh, next five years on top of the GAA. Uh, so that amounts to about 2 billion pesos a year. And uh, the space agency can even uh, obtain loans, contributions, grants, or if, if someone is willing to donate, uh, it's within the framework of the, the space agency. Okay. Of course, this needs a- approval coming from NETA. Or the National Economic Development uh, Agency and uh, I'm sorry, Authority and uh, the Department of Finance. Section 20 shows uh, states the initial appropriation. So initially, an amount of one billion is appropriated for the Philippine Space Agency, and then thereafter, it undergoes the the usual budgeting rules and regulation for the space uh, for for any government agency. Section 21 states the IRR or implementing rules. So within 90 days upon uh, effectivity of the act, or once it becomes a Republic Act, the uh, uh, space agency is mandated to work on the IRR and the implementing rules and regulation. And then the rest is uh, separability clause, repealing clause, and effectivity, which are standard uh, clauses in any Republic Act or in any executive order. So that's the essence of the House Bill 3637. And uh, in terms of content, the Senate Bill 1211, which was filed on October 18, uh, 2016, by Senator Bam Aquino, who is in also the chair of the uh, SNT committee in the Senate, uh, and still, he's still the chair despite the recent uh, changes in in committee chairmanship. I think he was only stripped of the education chairmanship, but not the SNT chairmanship. Uh, it's the same content, okay? And uh, even the succeeding House bills, House Bill 4275, which was filed by Congressman Yul Serp of Manila 3rd District and Congressman Edward Maceda of the Manila 4th District, uh, House Bill 4367, which was filed by Congressman Joey Salceda of Albay 2nd District, and House Bill 4623 by Congressman Maximo Rodriguez uh, of Cagayan de Oro 2nd District, and Senate Bill 1259 filed by Senator Loren de Garda. So in terms of content, all these bills are the same. So walang conflict, there's no conflict or there's no contradiction among the various bills, which would make it very easy in terms of consolidating them later on. And these bills were actually, uh, the one in Congress was actually, they already underwent House Committee uh, it was a uh, committee on government reorganization and science and technology and it was uh, I think last January 31 it was approved in fact uh, even I was surprised because uh, I sat there as one of the resource speakers and I sat in front of I, th- I think f- around 15 congressmen uh, uh, who were there to judge us or to see whether this was worth uh, pushing through or not and what was surprising was we basically didn't get any resistance coming from Congress. I think uh, I, I give a, a shout out to our congressmen that, that I think they, they, they saw the importance of the bill and they saw they appreciated what value or what benefit this can give to our country. So that's why it was very uh, it was very smooth sailing. It took about one hour for some questions, some deliberations. But in overall, it was much. It went through much better than what I was expecting. Okay. Hi, hi Val. Hi, hi Cass. Long time no see. Visita naman kayo from ano, from Switzerland. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, yes. Yeah, so, uh, it passed the first reading, uh, and it's now undergoing. Uh, uh, the next step is to have a technical working group that will consolidate all the four house bills and i think this is going to be done sometime in march 15 if i remember correctly <coughs> sorry excuse me uh march 15 yung 
a technical working group to consolidate them into one single bill and then before it will be read again by the committee and hopefully uh, second and third reading it won't it won't have much you know, much uh, changes or uh, there are just some minor changes based on the on the meet on the committee reading on the first uh, first committee reading last January 31 okay so yeah, I think that that is hopefully that demystifies the bill that we have. So this is very different from uh, House Bill six seven five six seven two five, which was filed in uh, 20, 2012. So this is now a whole new bill, very different from the previous one, uh, which was filed in uh, by uh, former Congressman Angelo Palmones, and uh, hopefully within. Well, we, we don't know how fast this bill is going to pass through Congress. So if you think that this is something that uh, the Congress or what our country needs, then uh, call up your congressman and express, uh, tell them that uh, please support the bill for uh, the creation of the Philippine Space Agency uh, and also for the Philippine Space Policy. Uh, yeah. So, but based based on what the feedback that we got from from the committee secretariat and other uh, personnel from Congress, they said that relatively it's very it's faster than it's compared to other bills that usually uh, languishes in Congress for quite some time. Because imagine. In a matter of uh, less than six months, it already underwent the first reading, and it also uh, it already passed the first reading, and it's now uh, for TWG or technical working group. Okay, so we hope this this kind of momentum is going to be sustained, and uh, uh, so that no, tuloy tuloy na yung development natin ng our own ng space agency and uh, space program natin. Okay, so I think that more or less summarizes my first uh, broadcast, uh, FB Live, uh, for all of you who watched and uh, commented. I'm seeing a lot of comments. Uh, thank you for taking your time out from your Thursday night. Uh, for LB students, usually Thursday nights are what we call gimmick nights. Okay, say it in gimmick night. Pero we're past that age already. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, imagine thirty minutes na pala yung nakalipas. Okay. Uh, I think uh, that's one of my problems. I sometimes people have to stop me from talking about space because I can talk for talk for hours and hours about space. Uh, so yeah, so I guess that wraps up the first uh, FB live. First ever FB, FB live na ginawa ko. So, magpasensya nyo na if there are some uh, kung medyo malabo yung camera or the signal is a little bit uh, choppy or crappy. Uh, hopefully, next time around, uh, it would be much better. Uh, next FB live is, uh, I'll, I'll try to make this uh, from Yaunin Albert Leung. Uh, I'll try to make this regular every Thursday night. Okay, so I know uh, a week is a long time, uh, but uh, as much as I want to, I can't. I can't do it more often. So I'll I'll, show, I'll post small clips or short clips, five five minute clips or less, uh, every now and then. But the the whole discussion itself is about uh, every Thursday, para regular. So something to look forward to every Thursday night. Okay. Uh, John Louis Fabula, uh, Sir Omar, what's the next topic? Uh, actually. Uh, I have a lot of topics that I have in mind, but uh, siguro I'll uh, I'll post the topic uh, sometime early next week. Okay, uh, I'll post an announcement uh, or parang save the date or save the uh, save the time slot sometime in Monday or Tuesday next week. Uh, and uh, as I said, this is the first uh, first uh, 
salvo, opening salvo, and uh, I'll try to lay out the succeeding topics. And if you have any topics that you want to discuss, okay, or any clarifications or any interesting points, for example, if you're interested in the seven newly discovered exoplanets and you want me to talk about them, sige na nga, pagbibigyan ko kayo, okay? Uh, yeah, so hope to see you guys uh, again. Thank you very much for watching this uh, pre or test broadcast of FP Live, and I hope to see you guys or uh, next week, next Thursday, and just keep on posting. And uh, if you have if you have comments or questions about space. And I'll try to answer them uh, during the live, FB Live. E even if you post it during the week, uh, I'll try to answer them during the FB Live para mas exciting naman o mas dynamic. So again, uh, thank you very much and bye-bye!